Uh, Danny Heinrich lived alone in a simple home in Annandale, which is in Wright County. And that is where he was taken into custody last evening. Bill Hudson spoke with his neighbor. Neighbors, he joins us now from downtown St. Joseph. Hi, Bill. Hi, Amelia. Well, uh, for three months now, Danny Heinrichs and neighbors have been wondering for this uh, shoe to drop, waiting for it. That's because ever since that uh, July 28th search warrant of his house with all that evidence, he has been talking and very outspoken. In this corner white house in a quiet Annandale neighborhood, Danny James Heinrich lived alone for the past eight years. It sits just a block from a middle school and is surrounded by neighbors with young children. Yeah, it's a shock, but he is kind of a strange guy, so, but I had no idea. Patty Peterson lives across the street and watched as FBI agents raided the home July 28th. Following that, Heinrich told his neighbors he was questioned but released over the 1989 abduction of Jacob Wetterling. He says, oh, I thought that was all done and in the past, and now here they are again. But at the time of the Wetterling case, Heinrich lived here in a former motel in Painesville, 23 miles from where Jacob disappeared. He's held a steady job at this Buffalo plywood company where investigators pulled him from the factory floor last summer for questioning. I'm just glad he's gone. Other neighbors of Heinrich, like this woman, didn't want to be identified, but say the indictment of a man she thought she knew leaves a sick feeling in her stomach. Everyone just got to talking and everyone heard about it. And he said what? That he's a suspect back in 89. They, they booked him and took his mugshot, took hair samples and all that stuff. Yeah, he wasn't keeping that quiet at all. Now, neighbors also tell us that they watched on July 28th as those agents, uh, FBI agents, uh, state and local investigators, carried out boxes and boxes of evidence. A lot of the evidence that was referenced in that indictment, including those binders of uh, young men and uh, pornographic images.